Now, the golden age of Hollywood was a time when women were beautiful and men were rugged, apparently. Uh, they were the perfect and unapproachable icons of the big screen who were adored by fans in their millions. Rugged men. Look at you, Matt. I Lovely see that ladies. Age, age is not past. <laughs> but did you know they could also cook? Here to tell us more is the film archivist and creator of Silver Screen Supper's blog site, Jenny Hamilton. Jenny, marvellous you have us with you. Now, what is exactly the Silver Screen Supper's? Well, it's a project that I've been working on for about 10 years now. Um, my favourite era is a massive project. Mm -hmm. My favourite era of Hollywood is 20s, 30s and 40s. And I discovered that there was quite a craze during that era for film stars to pub publish their favourite recipes. So in fan magazines, um, promotional cookbooks for products like fridges. And, and so you decided to start investigating this area? Yeah, I found um, a 1931 cookbook book called Favourite Recipes of the Movie Stars in a junk shop about t 10 years ago. Had all these wonderful pictures of the stars wearing chef hats and in their pinnies. Had all their favourite recipes. But do the recipes actually work? Some of them do, some mm. of them don't. A bit like today. Yeah. Okay. Now, Clark, I can't quite think Clark, Clark see Clark Gable in a pinny, can you somehow? Well, I'm trying to picture him. Interestingly, Clark Gable was really like Man the Hunter. He mm. loved going out shooting, hunting, fishing, and he often took his cook with him to cook up the things that I he never caught. I'd never go anywhere with him. No, that. exactly. <laughs> Take your cook along. Mm. So he actually really was interested in cooking. Mm. And uh, this is one of his dishes. What, what, what is uh, this one? This is stuffed pork tenderloin. Uh, Alex, uh, do you fancy a little nibble <laughs> of stuffed I pork really tenderloin? I really do. I've been eyeing that one. Well, okay, <laughs> you go and help yourself uh, uh, onto that one for the time you have a taste on that and then we'll uh, do you think John Travolta tucks into a bit of pork tenderloin um, these wouldn't days? Be surprised. <laughs> One of the interesting things about the recipes is that there's usually no picture of the food right. because there's a picture of the star. Yeah. And so it's pretty much guesswork. Mm. Christmassy. Uh, yes, Christmassy. I think it's the sage in it which it's might make it. It's quite soy in the middle, isn't it? But I like the idea yeah. of it. No. Right. It's interesting. Isn't well, it? thank you. I don't give a damn. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Better <laughs> garbage. Well, Greta Garbo was quite a contradiction. She was very much into healthy eating, mm. always on a diet. Um, when she was appearing in her film Ninochka, the director, when he first saw her, thought she looked really pale because she was on a diet of carrots and cabbage. So he sent her away to get roses in her cheeks by having a nice, thick, juicy steak. Mm. So Greta sometimes was vegetarian, but sometimes she liked big protein meal. Right. So this is uh, oh, Greta Garbo Swedish meatballs. Very she good. was, and she was actually Swedish, wasn't she? She was Swedish. Mm, not very soft. Secret ingredient in there. What's that? Well, I'm not a fan of making breadcrumbs myself, so I really love these meatballs because they they use cornflakes. Cornflakes. Yeah. yeah. Just put them in a big bag <laughs> and smash them all up with a rolling pin. I can imagine. Well, Greta taste, they were actually went around saying, I want to be alone. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Have you got one of these for everyone? <laughs> <laughs> all right, but not quite. I'm all up his sleeve. <laughs> Jane Crawford. Joan Crawford was quite a fanciful cook, a little bit of a show-off cook. Alex, tuck into those. Would you like to slice? These a little... are a bit of an acquired taste. Oh, they... <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. Stuffed yeah. peppers, the heart sinks, well, I must say. You know, because it's Joan, she wouldn't call them stuffed peppers. She'd call them creamed white onions in a red pepper cup. You know, <laughs> that is the title of that dish. But what I find is, you know, here we have these sort of glorious gods and goddesses. Oh, oh look, there's all sorts in screen. there. Oh, that oh, looks that, Excuse me. <laughs> this, that is going nowhere near my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> but somehow this, you know, this sort of domestic, you know, this rather mm. sort of domesticated, right. almost suburban feeling sure. is really bizarre. Well, I think sometimes the stars like to seem approachable yeah, to normal people. And a lot of the reason for it's having these recipes was for ordinary okay. people to be able to have a bit of stardust in their own kitchen and live like the stars or you know have a bit of that star that? quality that? oh that's what? bran oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it's healthy it's got you it's yeah, better it's it gets your roughage you. in there okay what about the end there marlena dietrich oh well marlena she, she was, was a goddess okay. she was a, an absolute goddess you're right but also a very very good cook there's lots of evidence that Marlena was always baking up right. pies and cakes for people and taking them on to set and God, feeding people. Filming must have been fun with Marlena. Yeah, she was amazing. And um, I love this banana nut bread and I have a little Ooh. fantasy oh, whenever I that. make it because um, Marlena actually played the musical Saw. 
So I like to think of her having a little practice. Come on, Alex, can't you add that to that? She sounds like a pretty, pretty cool. Well, it works quite nice. My Lady My Lane was a unique song because it was actually, I think it was number one, it was a hit with both the English and the German forces. Right, yeah. Right, yes. Well, she did entertain the troops playing mm. the music. With a sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jenny, thank you very, very thank much. You very did. much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.